Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meher Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to be continuing to learn how to draw network diagram. This is the second video on our video series based on network analysis. So let us continue with the ways how to draw network diagram. Okay, now let us start with the question number three on how to draw network diagram with the various set of activities given. Now before starting question number three, uh, we have already completed question number one and two in the previous video. So those who haven't uh, watched the previous video, see that you'll first watch the previous video because in that we have learned about the basic concepts of network diagram and then we have solved two sums based on how to draw network diagram. Once you have went through that video, then you can start with this video whereby we are going to start with couple of few more sums in which we are going to draw network diagram. Chalo, question number three, draw network diagram for the following set of activities. Activities given in the question are A, B, C, D, E, F, N, G and then they are given as the preceding activities. For activity A, there is no preceding activity. So that is the activity from which we will start our sum. So number one, we have activity A. Next activity is B, the preceding activity is A. And then we have activity C, again the preceding activity is A. It means from A, two activities have been evolved. So now we end the first activity. Uh, from A, we have activity B which is getting evolved and activity C which is getting evolved. So we will note down B and C. This is the end point of B. This is the end point of C. Now in the questions given that from B activity D has evolved and point uh, and from activity C the activity E has evolved. So from B we are noting down activity E and from activity C activity E has got evolved. Now later on is given that from activity D activity F has evolved and from activity E G has evolved. Now look at this very carefully. Now none of these two points are merging to one single point. Now we need to have a closed network diagram. So now since there are two different points where uh, they have been evolved from two different activities. See how we need to close it now. This is act event number five. This is event number six. From D we have activity F which is evolved. And from E, we have activity G, which is evolved. Okay. After that, it's not showing anything else. No other activities are there. So we merge them to the last activity. So this event gets closed at event number seven. So always remember in network diagram where the diagram is not closing down. In the previous two sum that we had done, it used to always close down to one single activity. Here, the, the sum didn't close down to any activity. So at the end, we need to close it down into a complete network diagram. So this was question number three in which the last activity does not merge. So this is how we need to solve such kind of sums. Now let us start with the next one. Question number four. Again, similar question. Draw network diagram for the following sets of activities. Now, many activities are given here, activity A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. And then they are given as many preceding activities and merging activities. So now let us see how we need to solve this sum, okay? First is activity A. Again, preceding activity is nil. So our sum will start with activity A. Now, Going ahead, I can see that for activity B and activity C both have evolved from activity A. So now they're going to burst out. So from A, we have two activities, activity B 
and activity C which have evolved which is activity uh, so this event number this will be event number 3 this will be event number 4 now going ahead going ahead I can see that from activity B activity D and activity E both have evolved but now look here I can see here E also from E F has also been evolved and from C also F has been evolved so now this is this is going to be merging okay there is a lot of merging and bursting in this case so now look at this very carefully C and E together C and E together will give you activity F and from B D and E both the activities have been evolved so I can see that from B E is getting evolved and E and C together are forming activity F. So now this clearly states that from B and E activity E activity F has got evolved and from B another activity has evolved which is activity D. Okay so from B we have D activity and E coming out and C and E together will form activity F. So I'll close it down to this is event number 5, this is event number 6. Now from activity D, G is evolved and from F, H has evolved and then G and H they both close down to I. So now this is tapering down. So from D we have activity G and from F we have activity H. They both merge to form a single activity that is activity I. So here our network diagram gets end at event 8. It started from 1 it got ended at 8. So this is how we had to solve some based on network diagram where a uh, complex preceding activities were given okay where we were merging it bursting it together so this is question number four based on you know drawing network diagram so altogether four sums have been completed we have one last sum to be completed so now let us see how to solve the last sum based on drawing network diagram Okay, now question number 5 states that draw network diagram for the following set of activities. Now activities here are given in the form of numbers and numbers represents the events. So they have directly given the activities based on event. Okay, so starting off with the sum it can be seen that from event 1, event 2 is released and from again event 1, event 3 is getting released. So we'll start with event number 1. Now from the first event, we have the second event release and from the first one, we even have the third event which is released. Okay, now from 2, we can see event 4 getting released and from 3, event 5 is getting released. So from 2, we have event or we can even say as activity 4. From 3, we have event 5. Now from 4, we also have event 5. So from 4, we also have event 5. And from 4, we have 6. From 4, we have 6. I'll write it in here and not this one. And similarly, from 5 also, we have event 6 which has been evolved. And lastly, 6 is getting evolved to event number 7. So this is how we had to solve sums which in which let's say if they are given us direct numbers of events. So this is how we had to solve the sum based on the activities in terms of events. So with this, we have completed 5 sums whereby we learn how to draw the network diagram. Now, 
in our next video we are going to be solving sums based on network analysis where we'll have to first draw the network diagram and thereafter use some formula some method some steps in order to get the network analysis done i hope everyone have understood how to draw network diagram based on the two videos that we have created with that we'll be ending this video here based on drawing of network diagram thank you